today's video. Not a vlog, but it's the <laughs> <laughs> but it's Valentine's Day and we wanted to do something different for you guys today. We have a special video coming out tonight. Don't forget to watch that. It will be out at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is our Valentine's Day special. Uh, so we decided to do a quick Q&A. We haven't done one in a long time. I miss the times when we get together and discuss things with you guys. So I saved a bunch of questions from Instagram. I asked you and so we're going to go through some of them. <laughs> That was Ruby. They're all bored. They're all bored. Are you guys bored? They're like, let's get out and do some real videos. They want to run to the barn. Um, so I saved some questions. Uh, a lot of really good questions this time. A lot of really good questions. So let's get on with it. So Andrea.ge says, why can't Sophie get another horse? I understand that Finn is teaching her, but she's losing confidence and might do better with an older horse that takes care of the rider. So my answer to that, right, How I lose Storm. Storm. we already have Storm and we already have Chino and she can ride either of them. She can ride Penny. She can ride any of our horses. She'll probably grow to Chino. So. Yeah. Like she's probably eventually going to run, grow into. But I just want to ride Finn. Yeah. She's probably going to grow into our other horses. She can ride any of our horses. Getting another horse at this point, specifically for Sophia, would just be silly because we have horses that already fit the, the bill for her. Uh, do you feel like you're losing confidence on Finn? No. I think people see her going up and down often, and I think that that would be her journey no matter what horse she's on. That's the days Finn's being like really energetic and bad. Yeah. And in the past, we painted Finn as a challenging horse, but I truly feel like he's past that point now. Do you feel like he's yeah. not? Yeah, he's not super challenging anymore. Even I could ride him. <laughs> Just joking. Don't get mad. Okay, so Ellie Brady 12 says, if you didn't do YouTube, what would be another job that you would like to do? So before YouTube, um, I was in nursing for 22 years. I worked in nursing, stayed home, quit my job, and stayed home to take care of Sophie, who was sick as a young young girl and a baby. And if I had a choice, like there are now that we do YouTube and I see all the different ways you can do business, I would love to sell things on Amazon. Yeah, that's what I like to do, you guys. Buy buy cheap things and then make people happy. Uh, Namoski asked, I'd love to know how Gabby taught Molly that trick so I can teach my dog. We're all gonna look at electric. Oh, we can. So, if you guys are wondering what trick it was, Gabby does a trick where she stands up and Molly just jumps into her arms. Gabby, tell them, how did you teach Molly that trick? Found a YouTube video. She found a YouTube video. Tale of Vanna says, do the girls ever wish they got to experience going to school if it wasn't in COVID times? Do you want to go to school? No. No. Do you want to go to school? Have no. you ever experienced school? Yes. yes. Yeah, they still talk about school. Uh, Sophie was, what, how old were you? Grade two and Gabby was grade four. I, yeah. I was in grade two when we left. Nope, you weren't. Yes, I was. You were two years younger than me, Sophia. So basically, they love being homeschooled. Uh, Daisy.eqxo wants to know, is Sam ever going to get a horse? Sam, you ever getting a horse? No. Why? I have five horses. He's got six horses. So as you guys know, riding horses is is predominantly a female sport. It's not Sam's idea of fun. He doesn't love riding horses, but he does love our horses. He loves them from the bottom of his heart and he loves caring for them. And I swear, Penny is my horse and Sam's horse. And I've, I've agreed to share her with him because I love her and I know that she loves him. I can Go it. Ruby. My mom's finding the next comment. Um, I got this gummy bear squishy at the dollar store and it's filled with Orbeez and I love it. It's so cute. Ella Samp 08 wants to know, what's the hardest thing about homeschool? Um, when your mom doesn't know how to teach you. Yeah, sometimes it takes us a while to get there. Hardest part for homeschool about me is getting distracted really easily. Yeah, we have a lot of distractions happening in our house. In fact, if you guys could see what was going on around us, we have puppies everywhere. And fidget toys. Gulber Sani wants to know, what are you looking for in your next farm and why aren't you happy with your current farm? So basically, I don't like being this close to the road. We're close to a busy road and I want more space. I want to be able to trail ride on our property. I want to have, I just, I think, I just want more space and I want to live in a different area. We actually really love this barn. Do you love this barn? Yeah. Do you love this barn? Yeah. Yeah, like just really this is we when we moved here we knew it was just gonna be our starter farm. We knew that it yeah, everything about this, even the house is kind of small for us. Uh we want more room to move out and to 
move, but we've been really grateful for this little farm. Laura rides ponies. Uh, says that this is random, but do you guys feel like you appreciate your horses more because of Stella's death? So, Stella's death definitely changed things for us. I don't know if I appreciate our horses more, but I find that since I got Penny, things have changed for me in a drastic way. I feel like a lot of things have changed, and I don't know if it's because it's winter, and winter is really hard in Canada. Gabby, do you feel like Stella's death has changed how you appreciate your horses? No. Do you feel like? Yes, I'm scared that they're gonna die at every second. You're scared they're gonna die at every second? Gabby, what do you want to do when you get older? I don't know. She hasn't decided yet, but she I is, do. she has been thinking about it and planning about it. She definitely, I think, is planning college. You want to go to college, right? Probably. Yeah, she definitely wants to go I to college. Don't. I want, can I do mine? Mm -hmm. um, I want to be a coach and a YouTuber. I think that's awesome. Isa Dot Equestrian says, are there any more horses in your future? Yes, I want her to make her bones. I popped it. And if so, what would you look for? Gabby just ruined my, my breast. You said you popped it before your breast implant. My breast implant squishy. Okay, so are there any more horses and what would we look for? Are there any more horses in our future? Um, I want a herd of miniature ponies. Sophie wants a lot of more, uh, Sophie wants a lot of miniature ponies. I but really like I miniature ponies, but I feel like you have to do one or the other. Like, and you can have both, but to really get into miniature ponies, you have to do miniature ponies. And then, because there's just, in Canada, we only have a few months of summer, and then the rest is really cold. So you have to have the time to do all the things, like the horses and the ponies, or you have to choose one. Do you um, see more horses in our future? I don't just want yeah. a herd of miniature ponies. I want to rescue them. I love that too. I want to get, if we're going to get another miniature pony, I want like one of those micro minis. I know they come with lots of health issues. We've had chihuahuas for years. I get it. It's, it's tricky and it's hard, but I think that would be something that I would be into. What other horses look like for me is that we are t right now on the verge of making a bunch of really big changes. And I could see us having a school, not that I would be a teacher, but we would hire someone to be the coach. But I, I, I wanna be the coach. Yeah, eventually you could be a coach, but that's what I see maybe possibly happening for us is that we have a school and then if we did have a school, um, there would be a lot more horses for us. Also, Laura Red Pony wants to know, like when the heck are you gonna start looking? So I think I'm hoping, I don't know, maybe this summer. It's really difficult right now. I feel like there is a house out there designed specifically for us and as soon as we find it, that is when it's gonna happen. I believe in living life to the fullest and going where God leads me and as soon as God leads me there, I promise you guys will be the first to know. Connie.horses wants to know, what are you gonna do with Finn when Sophie outgrows him? Sophie, what are you gonna um, do with Finn? I'm gonna lunch him. <laughs> And I'm going to still ride him. So we don't know specifically that Sophie is going to outgrow Finn. She is 11 now. Who knows? Gabby is 13. Gabby's actually almost 14. And she's 5'5". Five five. She hasn't grown hardly and at fully all. Grown. We're pretty sure she's fully grown. Sophie could continue to grow and be a giant. She could stay small. She'll probably be taller than me because the first girl sibling is shorter yeah so we don't know we're gonna cross that bridge when we come to it but there's one thing that that I believe and I'm gonna tell you guys I believe that horses are more than livestock I believe that horses are family I believe that horses are part of your life for a reason and I believe that especially if we have a school there will always be a place for Finn in our life. And I know a lot of people get hung up on the fact that we have too many horses and we can't ride them. I believe in me, you guys. I believe that I will always find a way to utilize the, and the horses that we have to the, best, to the best of my ability to make them happy. Daisy really wants up. <laughs> She's doing it back. So worst case scenario, he becomes uh, step up pony for my grandkids as you guys know I have a couple of girl grandkids and a couple of boy grandkids my niece has a couple of little boys that are really getting into riding they've been coming and riding our girls and I don't know what's gonna happen but those are just some thoughts that I've been kind of thinking about 
I believe that I believe that Finney is a part of our herd and I can't imagine a single moment of our life without him mm -hmm. and he is an amazing horse though and I recognize that I don't want him if you see a white thing in the top of the screen <laughs> the bottom of the screen that would be Daisy's head I truly believe that God has a plan where Finn will not be wasted sitting in a field there are a lot of uh, he has the I think he could teach a lot of kids <laughs> Bonnie Geary says, Bonnie Geary says, how did you and Sam meet? Sam and I met through God. There's a video on our channel. Sam and I met a lot of years ago. I don't even know how many years ago. Sam and I met online way before it was cool many years ago. There's a video on our channel. Horsey Artie Art wants to know, would you ever come to New Zealand? Gabby, would you ever go to New no. Zealand? No. Go to New Zealand. I think one of my friends lives I in New would come to New Zealand. Boya Bear 94 wants to know would you ever rescue horses and then rehome them? Kind of like what some I of wouldn't rehome them. That is why we will never rescue horses then. Uh, Laura Rides Ponies again wants to know once you've moved, so once you've moved, do you have any plans to get a project horse for Gabby? Uh, I know you've spoken about it in the past, but never seriously. Gabby, do you want a project horse? Yes. What what's your what's your dream of a project horse? Like, do you want to get a baby and train it up? Do you want to baby? You do want to get a baby. Mm -hmm. What's your uh, dream of a project horse eventually one day, Sophie? Or do you have no project? Um, all the miniatures. Sophie just wants minis. I am happy with my Penny girl. If Penny gets too old and dies, then there's so much more to having a horse than just riding her. This summer, I'm excited to do some fun things with Penny. I'm going to push myself and really get out there and um, learn the ropes with the trail with her. And there are some trail shows that I found sort of close to us that Sophie and I might investigate. Trail shows? Mm -hmm. You mean That's... endurance? No, like... There are these shows where you, it's like a, it's a competition. I don't know if it's actually a show. I think it's a show. So you go there and there's a course and you ride your horse and you like go off ramps and then you, you stop and you turn around and do like a three point turn and then you go back down and then you go over here and you do. Western shows? It's kind of like a Western it show. It is a Western show. Yeah, it's like a tra it's extreme, it's not extreme trail, it's a trail show. As long as there's a practice ride, because Finn doesn't walk on bridges the first time. Katie Equestrian wants to know, Gabby, what are your future plans with horses? Like, obviously you're going to go to school, you're going to get a job. Like, what is your ultimate plan with horses? Like, my plan, I plan to have our horses forever. The ones that we have currently, I plan this to be their forever home. So that's my plan. That's what I hope and dream for. What is your plan, like, for the future with horses? Just ride them and show them. Like even t into adulthood? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't imagine our life without horses. What about you? Do you feel like that horses are a part of your life forever? Yes. Because even if my kids aren't horse kids, they will learn to love them. Yeah. George EQ says, I'd love to know how Gabby trained all of her animals because all of your animals are very well taught. Too strict for their own good. She's strict. Gab Gabby is strict. Tanglewood Equestrian says, what horses will Gabby show and what height will she show on them? So what are your plans for the future this season? This season, Chino 26 Hunters. At Trillium. At Trillium and Storm just around like two foot. Mm, I want to go to Trillium. At schooling, schooling shows. shows. I want to go to Trillium because um, I think Finn can handle it. I definitely. But Gabby would ride him in the schooling round and I would do the warm up. So what, what are you actually um, doing on Finn? What are you doing on Finn this schooling summer? Shows. Schooling shows. Sophie's just going to work on... Because um, he's still not good at fillers. Sophie's working on Finn in the schooling show division this summer. And Gabby is definitely moving up to the Trillium show. Knock on wood. But that's the plan. TDS Show Jumping wants to know why are you not putting Finny Boy in, hunt in jumpers? Obviously, clearly, Finn likes to jump. And why are we putting him in jumpers? He's because more of a he needs than he to be a hunter. Be of, uh, jumper. So Gabby believes that Finn is way more of a hunter than he, he is a jumper. He just rushes it. He anticipates it. Yeah, he's still learning. But once he slows down, he's the perfect hunter. Yeah, I think Chino's our perfect hunter. So Chino's better. And the thing Storm's that slow enough for hunter. And the thing that I never get a chance to say is that we love our coaches so much, and our coaches teach 
hunters. We bought our horses specifically to do hunters with them. So if we were ever going to switch and do jumpers, we'd have to find another coach and we'd probably get a different Brandon, horse. Brandon does jumpers. Yeah, Brandon can teach us jumpers. Oh, and I would never do jumpers. It's too scary. So Jaden.me underscore horse crazy asked, I was watching some of your old videos and I'm just curious why was Gabby afraid of light seating? I know she pushed through it and is an amazing rider now, but she wanted to know why back in the past were you afraid of light seating? Because, and I was never afraid of light seating. Never. Okay. Only to jumps, but like never other than that. No yeah. Much. Remember when you wouldn't light seat and you wanted to only sit? Yes. To jumps. Right. Not. What was that about? Running around. Because Jasmine threw me multiple times. So it was because Jasmine threw her when just as Jasmine stopped suddenly before a jump twice. Two times. Threw Gabby right over top. Did we get to see any of those? No. no. We didn't get to see them. It's very said, graceful. I did front flips. Yeah. So she did fall two times, two pointing to the jump, and it set her back for a little while. And so she learned to only two point just before the jump, and then now she's good. So she worked through it, like you said. But over. Yes, over. JMA Equine wants to know, are you guys ever going to get another trailer eventually? Yeah, yeah, that is definitely on our plan. We love our trailer because it's a two-in-one, so we can actually carry three horses, but it's not super huge. Sam does not like to drive and back up with big, huge trailers, so it's really good for us that we can carry as many horses as we can with our small trailer. Uh, in the future, we do plan to get another one, though. Underscore Spunky Hunter said, hey, are you guys going to get any other animals? Do we have any plans to get other animals? Yes. Yeah. We have to wait and see what happens when we move, but definitely we're thinking. It depends. We, we are at a pinnacle in our riding journey currently. We're still ironing out the details of what our future is going to like and look like, and I think it'll happen within the next year. And Can you tell them what I want to get? Yeah. What do you want to get? Baby goats. She wants to get goats. I want to get goats. Like the miniature ones. Is there any other kind of animal you want to get? Quarter collie. She wants another Ooh, dog. I want a miniature pig. Which leads me to my next question from JMA Equine. Um, you guys should move to Florida. So not really a question, but yeah, that is something that we are kind of considering, which will affect how many animals that we can get. Um, as you guys know, in Canada, we're shut down for a good five months every single year. It's been, it's a struggle to video every single day. I love our daily vlogs. I don't want to stop that. It's a struggle to get out there and be doing stuff with the snow and the ice and the extreme cold weather. And Sam and I definitely have thought about moving to Florida in winters and taking our horses with us and competing down there. And it is a possibility. So. We don't know exactly what's going to happen, but we have a couple of different, we have about three different scenarios of things that we want to do in our future, and that is definitely one of them. So watch for us in Florida, because it really, truly could happen. Like, we are seriously considering it. Wait, Obviously, we have to wait for COVID to be done. Will the horses have to ride on a plane? No, we would have them shipped down. And that is the end of our questions. I love doing Q&As every once in a while, because it's kind of like sitting down and actually talking to you guys and sharing more information that I can share in a video. And so, yeah, I hope you liked it. We'll be back with you guys tomorrow, back doing more videos, regular videos, vlogs. We are on the verge of spring, you guys. We are on the verge of show season. We are on the verge of our trainers are back. So many new fun things are about to happen. Stick with us. We are coming through this winter season. Hopefully this is the last we'll spend in Canada because this was a hard winter for us. Yeah, Chino's not used to winter. Chino's not used to winter, which is probably one of the reasons that he had so much trouble. He goes to Florida every winter. Yeah, he used to Except go to Florida. Except for two winters. Yep, and then we bought him and now he's stuck here. Maybe that was a sign from God that we're meant to go to Florida. So, fun fact okay, from Sophie. so she's doing it right now. <laughs> so when my dog goes upstairs by herself, and then she comes down. She stands like at the top of the kind stairs, of the top, and like stares down at us and see if she noticed that she's gone. Yeah, like she definitely talks to us with her eyes, and she's here. She's here right now. Kaylee and I can all can understand what we're saying in different languages, like with just one word. We can talk with our eyes. 
Downey and Kaylee can talk with their eyes. Daisy definitely Daisy talks with her eyes too. Um, anyways, hope you guys like the video and we'll be back at it tomorrow with more daily vlogs. Happy she Valentine's Day. We love you guys all so much. I truly believe that there was a time when we were all in heaven together and we planned to meet up and be together on this earth and share part of our lives, our human lives together. Um, and so I appreciate you guys so much. I'm happy to be with you and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are.